Oh, she done found a football, y'all. You gotta give it to me. You see, she done found a football. out here on a mini little walk let Zoe go to the stream um it's a little stream over here this is the local park um that we can easily walk to and I guess that was the perk of me not having a backyard um we have this area for her to walk around in um and it's not too bad in the winter. We still come out during the winter time. And they're doing a little bit of construction. I hope that doesn't really affect where um, so we can go. Oh so, yeah, come along with us. Um, she loves it here. So oh, this is new. So maybe they are doing something or maybe this is just temporary for like, um, those uh, tractors and stuff that pick things up so that we can have some stability. Um, we'll see. Go! So, this is basically Zoe's backyard. I'm coming. And she just want to make sure I'm right behind her. She is not a dog that's trying to get left. Yeah. Don't mind my hair. It's a mess. I want to wash it, but the dandruff is crazy. If you guys are dealing with dandruff, please put in your comments below what you use, because the stuff I'm using is not working. Just isn't. It's so beautiful today. So if you live in Philly or if you're from Philly and you've been in Philly the last two weeks, you know it's either been ridiculously hot meaning 90 plus degrees up to 100 ridiculously humid humid so the humidity has been trifling or it has been thunderstorming so those are the three types of weather that we've had um so today is about 86 and yeah, it's not that humid. It's hot, but it's not that humid. So I thought like we haven't been able to bring her because of those other reasons. Like we didn't want her to get sick in the humidity or caught in the rain or hot. She, we didn't want her out in the heat because that really messes up her foot pads and stuff. So yeah, today's the day. So this is like one half we either go this way or it's one other way we can go when we're actually going on like a hike but because we're only going to the stream figured this way would be better um she is getting a bath today so i figured might as well let her get in the water before she get a bath um so that we don't have that extra mess afterwards and she's just in her best this is her favorite place Let's go over here first. All right, cause she wants to go this way. And we will eventually go this way cause the water is deeper over here and she is a swimmer. She is Zoe Phelps, she's a swimmer. Um, but over here the water is a little bit more shallow. Um, so we'll go this way first. And then we usually make our way back that way um, after we come up from here. But look at it, it's just so beautiful in nature see look she already wet yeah she loves the water and so i like having the chance to bring her out here because she like really loves it it was really it really grew out here because this grass this greenery wasn't that high 
yeah so this is the stream um you can hear it flowing more over there so it has like a couple of breaks and then like a couple of places where the water flows you can actually see it um yeah it's just a nice place to take her better cool down have a little fun run around um yeah we're gonna show you all the deeper water because she is zoe phelps she's a swimmer and so I want y'all to see her. She really be out here doggy paddling. Yeah. And she's pretty good off leash. Um, like I said, she is not a dog to be left. She will not let you leave her anywhere. She has separation anxiety. <laughs> it is so weird. And I've never seen it in the animal the way I've seen it in her. Like she has separation anxiety she's not one of those dogs that's gonna run off if you leave the door open mm -mm. if she go far she come back or if she walking too fast she'll look behind her make sure i'm still there she is not trying to get left she knows it's hard out here <laughs> yeah so we walk down here. Um, see, look at that mud. That's from the rain. Like I said, it's been either raining or raining, super hot, super humid. And like, you really don't want to be out here in this mud, but she deserves it. And there's some places, uh, some parts that are better than others. So this is our spot. I'm gonna show you where I sit. Hopefully it's not covered in grass and greenery. Cause this grass and greenery was not like this the last time we were here. So this is like the shallower end of it. And there are small fishes in here. Um, oh, this is actually pretty deep. Yeah, so. I gotta be really careful because you really can't see anything. You can tell people when you've been here. This log was not here the last time. So I gotta be really careful. Ooh. So I usually come over here, sit down, and enjoy the greenery. Let Zoe swim a little bit. Hi. You wanna go swim? Because it's, the grass is so high, can you find like a stick or anything to grow? Cause she really likes paying fetch in the water. She could be, hey, tell him you could be a lifeguard. Say I am Zoe the lifeguard. And whenever she's off leash, and whenever she's off leash, I like to keep her tags on, like just in case she does wander off or does get lost. Um, people can know how to contact us. Um, I do take off her leash because I want her to be free, um, but I do keep her tags on um, because I don't want her to go missing and people not be able to contact us. And all of my contact information is on the tags and all her information is on the tags. So hopefully, um, God forbid any of that happens, but just in case we're prepared, yeah. And she's not going to go, she's not one to go too far. So, I don't know if y'all can see these little fishies. Y'all see them? I hope y'all can see them. It's like little fish in this area. And the water is pretty clear. Um, and we've been coming here since she was like a puppy. I'm gonna insert some video of when she was a puppy. Um, and we came here with her brother Vaughn and her cousin. We're gonna call her cousin Naya. Naya is a Naya was a Neapolitan man so she passed away not too long ago. Um, and that was pretty difficult too. Um, they all came here. Look at her, she's looking for something. 
You like the cool water? Yeah. And she was so little. We came in here. We did a hike here in the snow. Uh, yeah. There was probably, I want to say, like, she was very little. She was just a pup. And we did a hike in the snow. I'm going to insert some of that footage. Um, that's when I first got her and I first moved around here. I don't even think I was living around here. My girlfriend lived across the street from me at the time. Um, she had owned the house. She owned the house across the street. So we were staying with her until I closed on my house. Um, and y'all, this was actually, we was actually here. Not this particular part, but another part that I'll probably show y'all in another video sometime soon. Um, hiking in the snow. It was a whole blizzard. School, I didn't have to go to work because it was canceled because it was a blizzard and we was out here hiking. And I think that was my birthday. Yeah, it was It was a mess. We was really out here in the snow. I'm going to show y'all some of that footage. It's funny. It is funny. Bundles up in the snowstorm. And it's not too bad out here. It's not hot. Especially by the water. What are you digging at? No, 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 no. Go swim. Let me see if I can find something to throw for her so y'all can see her. She really Zoe felt. Look at this. It's crazy out here. Can't really find anything. And this is hollow, so I know it's not going to go far. Let me see. She likes to go grab things and bring them back. She is swimmer. I'm trying to find you a nice little stick. See, if Mike was here, he would find some. But I'm not going to play in this. Ooh. Nets out here is crazy. Oh, she done found a football, y'all. You gotta give it to me. You see, she done found a football. Group two. Group two, the football. <laughs> if she give it to me, you see how deep it is in the middle? I don't know if y'all can see. It's really deep in the middle. And that's where I want to see her because she really is a swimmer let me see let me see let me see the ball let me see no not you let me see your ball and watch this as soon as i go get near it she gonna want to come grab it that's what she do move all right so this is the moment y'all been waiting for i'm gonna get higher ground sit look at her she ready sit sit no sit let's sit that's it she's always so look at her you see that doggy paddle she ain't waste no time look at that doggy paddle And she's been a swimmer for years. Well, not years. She only two. <laughs> she's been a swimmer since I can remember. Like, our first time in this stream. Like, her brother, he wasn't trying to go swim. But she was not afraid. And I'm like, I'm scared. But the water wasn't as deep. So, I'm like, you know what? If push come to shove, I can get in the water and grab her. But she was swimming and doggy paddling. And I said, look at my Zoe. I'm not grabbing it from down there. I want y'all to see these fish. Can y'all see them? A bunch of these fish. It's trying to be seen. And y'all, I think this is a good place to like clear your head and meditate and like if you need to get stuff off your chest like come here just like let it all out um 
being in nature is so healthy um just like the noises and like not really drowning it out with any music just being with yourself and not really entertaining anything else i think it's so healthy and it's so important and i don't think enough of us do it um but like these are my best moments like just being out here um especially if we go on a hike um, i'm gonna try to go on a hike before the summer's out just so y'all can see what the trail looks like um because of a couple of storms last year a lot of trees have fallen down so i don't really know what it looks like because we've been taking this route because of that um and because of the water uh but yeah so if you have like a little stream or a little park near you like go explore especially like why it's warm go explore put some bug spray on of course uh wear long clothes don't be like me out here with short sleeves on yeah don't be like me um but wear some longer clothes get out here and explore this beautiful nature like look at this it's so serene like you can't hear anything you can only hear the birds chirping the water running and zoe playing like it's not bad at all just to be with yourself and if you are a creative like an artist or an artist or you draw or you make music this is a, an amazing place to like just be in your own headspace no distractions no cars none of that like it's a good space and luckily for me i have this in walking distance like it takes us like three minutes to get here um but if you don't i would invest in like traveling to like your local um nature reserve or park or trail if you have one because this stuff this is the stuff that we are missing out on and i don't think like this is free it's not like it costs us any money to be here um you should pay it for by if you do come like picking up trash when you see it um because some people who do come don't really appreciate it as much as others um but picking up trash when you see it and just be in nature you never know what you're going to see one time we saw a um a beaver um it's a lot of nice birds out here it's fish i don't know if y'all can see these fish y'all but there are fish in the water there's a school of fish like right there they're not too big but they are there um and i bring my niece out here so hopefully one day when she comes with us uh we can come out here and we use i usually have my niece like down there where the rocks are and she just likes looking at the fish in the water and playing in the water with zoe um yeah it's just a good time and it's good to for her to have that she's only five but it's good for her to have that exposure like this is still your neighborhood and these are the beauty beautiful things that are in your neighborhood don't um because y'all it'd be a lot of stuff that people be trying to downplay black neighborhoods for but like this this is my neighborhood still and so this is really beautiful and i want people to know that like this is still technically I wish y'all could see these uh, little fish. I hope some of it comes up on this video. So we just cloud in the water all up. Look at her. She really be out here swimming. You don't understand. She trying to get chose. Hey. So we'll probably stay out here for about 20 more minutes and then head back, give her a bath. She's gonna be exhausted. We're gonna give her a bath and then, yeah, it'll be about time for Mike to get off of work and I'll start cooking dinner. So hopefully it'll be ready um, for him by the time he gets off of work. Um, yeah. By the way, and that's a little thing that my dad used to say, by their way. So my dad was, is Jamaican. Um, he passed away a couple months ago. And there will be a story on all of that as well. Um, but he used to always say, by their way. <laughs> so, and by the way, um, I'm cooking jerk chicken tonight. Jerk chicken and macaroni. And I think we might have broccoli or Brussels. Uh, whichever uh, Mike wants. I'm not really um, too particular about the vegetables. Um, yeah, so let me know if y'all want some cooking videos. All right, Zoe. All right, y'all. Oh, look at the sun. Look at how the sun is hitting the water, y'all. It looks so nice. So pretty. It looks so pretty. 
is such a nice spot. I really want to get some of these fish. Damn. The light is really hitting them real nice. I don't know if y'all can see them. Zoe clouded this water all the way up. Look at cloud here. Look at them. Y'all see these little fishies? They look like it's a bunch of them. Here she goes. She trying to be seen. She like pay attention to me. Look at those. Look at those strokes though. Tell your dog to stuff their game up. Zoe Phelps really be out here. All right, y'all. It's starting to get hot out here. So we gonna head back. Look at what I gotta go through. You gotta blaze your own trails. See if we gonna go back in the water. Really? You do the most. All right, let me try to get out of here, y'all. But this stuff is as tall as I am. She don't waste no time. Told you she not want to be left. You ain't leaving her. It's like a little trail. You get the sun that started shining down on me. I ain't got time. Mm -hmm. So we gonna head home, give Zoe a little bath, and we are going to start cooking. So preparing to cook. Um, it's still a little bit early. Um, it's like one-ish. Look at her. You see this? Why do she have it? Why? Why? You are not taking it home. I don't even know how she picked that thing up. Uh -huh. And it's good that we are today. She's getting the bath because uh -huh. look at her whining. You're not taking it. Big, you're not taking it home. You're not. Um, because when out in nature like this, if you have a dog, even with yourself, um, there's a lot of bugs out here. So. You want to check for fleas and ticks and all of those things, mosquitoes and any other kind of bugs that could just land on you when you're walking through nature. I think that's the only like bad thing about it is that it's a lot of bugs, especially with Zoe. You want to be careful, make sure she didn't get any ticks. You know, don't go down there, I'm not coming to save you. So just want to make sure everything like that is okay, copacetic. You don't want any of those kind of issues. Okay, they must be about to do some work for it. I forgot to mention this. So it's like a little baseball field, but it's just a whole bunch of play, uh, space. Like people come play soccer here. Um, and when it's cooler out, when the water's gonna be too cold for her, like in the fall or when it's just leaving summer, I like to come out here, play fetch with her. She has these little frisbees that have a lot of height on them. I'm gonna link them. Um, I think they're called Chuck It. I'll uh, link them. And I'll link some footage cause she is a jumper. She loves to play catch and stuff. Um, but when it's hot like this, I like to get her in the water as soon as possible. Um, but when it's cool, I like to come out here and play catch with her. Um, it's a lot of space. She gets to run around, had a time of her life. Um, yeah, so look for these areas. Especially if you um, don't have a bunch of land, 
um, like me, because we're living in a row home, and so we don't have a lot of space for her to run around. So we come to parks like these whenever we get a chance. All right, y'all. Well, that was us. We spent about an hour and some change at the stream. So, yeah. I'll well, call y'all back after we. I'll call y'all back. <laughs> yeah, I'll play. I'll um, let y'all know how she sleeps once we finish our bath. All right. See y'all.